Samsung just launched its fresh Galaxy Watch 6 wrist furniture and this year the classic model is back with its ruddy lovely rotating bezel. It'll cost you from £369 in the UK, it's on sale from August the 11th and I've got one right here inside of this box. So let's whip it out of that box, take you on a full on tour of the specs, the best features and the shiniest bits. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So what do you get in the box besides the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic? Well, you've got yourself a quick start guide. You've got yourself a charging dock. And that is it. That is your bally lot. Nice and straightforward. Unlike actually reassembling this bloody box. So it is absolutely marvellous to see a return for the classic model of Galaxy Watch. Complete with its classy rotate and bezel. This thing was a real miss in the Galaxy Watch 5 series. It doesn't look vastly different from the classic of yesteryear. You've once again got that bezel which juts up above the surface of the display just to add a bit of extra protection. And this bezel is adorned with dinky wee minute markings which hopefully you can just about make out there. I'm just about visible to my knackered old peepers. The rotating bezel is made of metal and you've got a stainless steel body here on the Watch 6 Classic. You can grab the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic in two different colours. This is the black model or you can also nab it in silver. And as if that wasn't already quite a lot of choice, do I go Galaxy Watch 6 or Galaxy Watch 6 Classic? Do I go black or silver? You've also got a choice of two sizes with the Classic model. 43 mils or this here 47 mil beefcake. This 47 mil effort is really designed for people with manly meaty arms. Unfortunately, I have the wrists of a Girl Scout. So this 47 mil version only just about fits on my arm. We're literally talking the final notch on that strap. And yes, speaking of straps, Samsung is offering a variety for the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. So you can switch it up depending on your mood or what you're up to. The Watch 6 Classic comes with a leathery option which feels really nice. It's got kind of a silicony soft touch feel to the bottom bit that actually goes against your arm. And then that top end has got your more traditional leather style finish with a bit of stitching. But alternative straps include the usual fully silicon effort if you're going to be pounding the pavement, down the gym or whatever, nice and sweat resistant. You've also got a fresh new soft sleep strap apparently which is just nice and snugsy on your arm to help you get some kip. And Samsung has kindly improved the design of the catches here on the straps as well so they're much easier to remove now. Literally all you have to do to whip off the straps is push in these wee silver buttons here. He says completely balls on it up. There we go. And then you can chuck a fresh one on just as easily. Boom. And the Galaxy Watch 6, nice and tough. You've got sapphire glass protecting that display and also it's passed various military standard tests. So you know that it's one tough more for. It's IP68 water and dust resistant and also it can withstand pressures of up to five atmospheres. So you can take it snorkeling or whatever. And this larger model does weigh 59 grams. So got a bit of a heft on it, got to say, but I'm starting to get used to it already. And I've only been rocking it for just under 24 hours. Now to set up your Galaxy Watch 6, you will want to jump on into the Samsung Galaxy wearable app. If you've already got yourself a Samsung smartphone, you should find that this is pre-installed, so super simple. Otherwise, just download it from the likes of the Google Play Store. Pairing up the watch and the phone was super easy, just took a few minutes. And then once you're done, you can set up the watch via the app. There's all kinds of stuff you can tinker with in here, including downloading fresh watch faces. You can reorder the watch app screen. Just long press on one of these apps, you can move it about the place. Sadly, it doesn't seem to be an easy way to just order alphabetically or something like that. You could also customise the quick panel, take out any toggles that you don't really need. Shift the ones that you use quite often to the main screen. You can also, thankfully, fully customise exactly which apps are allowed to disturb you by giving your wrist a quick buzz. You could also change up the vibration type. Surely it's got to be long and strong. Oh, yeah, that'll do the job. This is also where you set up the health tracking. So for instance, how often your heart rate is measured. Does it do the snore detection? I'm kind of curious about that, even though it just sounds bloody weird. And the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic can also auto detect various exercises. I'm going to turn off some of these because frankly, I never do them. Oh, and this inactive time reminder can frankly sod right off because I don't want to be told every 50 minutes when I'm sat at my desk doing work that I need to get off my arse and do something. As with your phone, you can also check how your battery's doing, your storage, and also copy some music and pics across to the watch. So loads of great stuff packed in there, some incredibly deep customization, and I will be coming back and checking some of these features like the watch faces again later in this video. 
Now for that display, it is of course Super AMOLED tech as you would expect from Samsung and that's great news because it means it really helps to bring those bold bright colours of the UI to life. Here on my 47mm version I've got a 1.5 inch display but if you choose to go for the smaller model well that will be a 1.3 incher. Got a 40 by 40 pixel resolution here on this bigger display that's 453 pixels per inch. The smaller display is slightly crisper at 470 ppi. And the good news is that tiny text is perfectly legible no problems whatsoever here on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Images are pleasingly sharp as well as poppy. Those viewing angles are nice and wide and it's a super bright panel too. I found even when you're outdoors, sunlight beaming down, reflecting off that glossy surface, I can still clearly see everything that's going on. And that is with the auto brightness enabled. So as soon as you go outdoors, it does boost the brightness all the way up to counter that glare. And similarly, when you come into a darker environment, it does scale it back down to save on the battery. Now the software running on this thing is Google's Wear OS 4 with Samsung's very own One UI 5 Watch OS smushed on top. Now if you're familiar with Wear OS and Samsung smartwatches in general, you'll know what to expect from the UI. Swipe this way and you've got your notifications. Don't even need to swipe of course, you can just use the old rotate and bezel. You can tap into a notification to get more information. So for instance, check out the body of a message. You then get options to respond or just straight up delete it. If you swipe the other way, or again, use that old rotated bezel, you've got all your various widgets. Very handy for fast access in your health shenanigans and also seeing just how crap you slept. And of course, this can be fully customized. Just long press on any of these widgets. And as you can see there, you can delete them by tapping the little minus icon. Boop, off you go. And you can also reorder them simply by long pressing on them and then just dragging them either left or right. And then if you scroll all the way to the end and tap add tiles, you can then chuck some new ones in there. Got a good variety on here. Quite a lot of them, of course, are health related. A bit of weather action if you can't be bothered to look out the window. If you swipe down, you'll find all of your fast toggles, the likes of do not disturb. You can mute the watch, you can turn on the Bluetooth. Got all there, plane mode, all that shenanigans. Bit of torch action as well, quite handy if you're trying to find the bogs in the night. And again in here you can tweak a lot of the settings including the vibration, raise to wake, you can also touch the screen or twist that bezel, health shenanigans, quite a lot of the stuff that you found in that mobile app. And you can also customise the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classics dual buttons. By default a tap of the top one will always return you to your home screen and a tap of the bottom one will take you back in any app. But as you can see there you can customise what a double push or a long press of that home button will do. These are the defaults, but you can change them up if you fancy. Get them to open up your favorite app, for instance. And then last up, if you swipe up from that home screen, you've got a full list of all of your installed apps, which as I showed you earlier, you can reorder in that mobile app or simply by long pressing right here in the apps menu. Quite a lot installed on there to begin with. And of course you do have full Play Store access if you wanna grab some more stuff. And the App Store is exceptionally well stocked these days. You've got pretty much anything you could possibly want stuffed away in here. All separated into various helpful sections like trending, most popular, health and wellness. Could even play a bit of wrist chess, although only 1.8 star, so maybe not. You've got a couple of new watch faces here on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, and these can be quickly and easily changed up as usual just by long pressing. And then you can customize them, change up the color scheme, and if you want to, you can also add in any complications if the watch face allows it. Shortcuts to your favorite apps, battery life. You really do have a long, long list. You can even start up an exercise of your choice. Calories burned and all the general health shenanigans. And yeah, go back into that Galaxy wearable app. And if you hop into the watch faces section, you got lots of stuff here that you can choose from, including a whole variety of analog and digital options. Get a more classic watch face on the go, something simplistic. And there are loads more options online, either via here or via the Google Play Store. And naturally, you can make your own as well with your very own pictures. And then you can change up the clock type, you can get a bit of analog action on the go. Change the color of the clock so it's actually legible against the background. And then literally seconds later, it's beamed across to your watch, ready to rock. And as well as choosing whether you want the regular Galaxy Watch 6 or the Watch 6 Classic and then choosing between the two different colours, the two different sizes, you've also got to decide whether you want the LTE version of the Watch 6 Classic or you're happy with just the Wi-Fi connection. So as long as you've got your phone on you, you will have that online connection. But if you go LTE, you can add an eSIM that will of course cost you a little bit extra each month for your data. 
Now the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is powered by Samsung's nippy new Exynos W930 chipset. They've got an extra half a gig of RAM compared with previous generations. And so far things seem pretty smooth. I have seen a few wee judders here and there in my first 24 hours with the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, but nothing major. And to be honest, that pretty much is standard for all smartwatches. They need a bit of warming up time while they're busy getting everything set up, etc. So I'm hoping that the everyday performance will be nice and silky smooth. But certainly scrolling through the menus is a nice fluid experience. And when you do tap an app, it does load basically instantly. So yes, as we've already seen, you've got all the usual health tracking shenanigans, including good old body composition. This involves sticking your fingers on those buttons and keeping relatively still, which isn't particularly easy. And then you get a breakdown of basically your fat and muscle, basically what kind of state your body is in, which frankly, I'm never really sure I want to know. You can also check out your blood pressure. There's an ECG function. This one just involves resting your arm on a table, thankfully, less awkward than the other one. And then just plopping a finger on that home button gently. And hooray, apparently I don't have any obvious heart defects, thank f This then generates a report on your phone, which you can then share with your doctor if needed. And if you're feeling guilty because you just munched down on an entire KFC family feast bucket by yourself, well, you've always got the exercise section to get you motivated. All of the most popular exercises are supported here on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. And if none of those main ones float your boat, you can add from a huge selection of other bits. Basically pretty much anything you can imagine a human being could do that involves flapping their arms about and generally sweating absolute heaps. And to be fair, Samsung hasn't taken the piss because some of these smartwatches have things like board games chucked in there. I'm sorry, but if you reckon playing a game of guess who's going to burn any calories, you're probably in a worse state than I am. Although, hey, any guess who is out there can actually create a new exercise. Tell it exactly what kind of stats it needs to be measuring. And in the middle of an intense workout, you can check out all your stats right there on the Galaxy Watch 6's screen. Current calorie burn, heart rate, all that good stuff. You've also got fast access to your media controls, as always. And those heart rate zones are actually personalized for you as well, based on your age, your body type, etc. So you'll know for sure if you're going at it a bit too hard, generally not a problem for me. And yes, as always, Samsung is rather obsessed with the old sleep tracking here on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. So as you can see, I wore this bad boy last night when I had a bit of kip. Actually had a good night's sleep last night, seven bloody hours, that's rare for me. Especially in a week where Samsung launches about 12 chuffing devices. And apparently that was still pretty crap. I only got a sleep score of 60 hit, which is fair. As you can see, not much deep sleep to be fair. And all this information at a glance, not exactly much use, but the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, if you keep on wearing it at night, can generally get a picture of your general sleep habits, I guess, and then dispense advice on how to get a better night's kip. And frankly, I don't even need to read mine to know exactly what it'll say. It'll say, stop drinking so much booze, stop going to bed at 3 a.m., stop eating fried chicken when you're in bed, just basically rethink your entire lifestyle, to which I say, no. Now, one of the final features here on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, which I haven't yet covered, is, of course, our great mate, Bigsby. Hey, Bigsby, how you doing? I'm doing well this morning. Let me know if I can help you at all. A bit quiet there, but you can dive on into the audio settings and the Bigsby voice has its own separate volume control, which you can boost right up. So let's try that again. When is Sunderland Football Club's next match? Oh, come on, Bigsby, it's been years, years. So yes, if you enjoy having an argument with your wrist, then you've, you've got good old Bigsby there, listening in, as always. I'm not sure I got what you meant. I know, you never do. You just don't get me, Bigsby. At least the mic seems to pick up your voice clearly and cleanly, at least in a quiet environment. I will be fully testing it out in more noisy surroundings and uh, stay tuned for my in-depth Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic review. That speaker also reasonably loud once you boost up those volumes. As for the battery, well, if you get the smaller 43mm version of the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, that comes with a 300mAh capacity cell. Whereas this here 47mm model boosts that quite considerably to 425mAh. So far, the battery drain been pretty much what I expected. You'll just about scrape two days of use out of this bigger Galaxy Watch 6 Classic on a single charge. As long as you're not going absolutely crazy, you know, tracking hours of fitness, spending lots of time playing wrist, chess, whatever else. 
yeah, with a smaller model, you'll almost certainly be charging it every single night. And to be fair, you'll probably want to charge this one every night as well, just to make sure you don't run out of juice just before the end of that second day. So there you have it, my lovelies. That and a tasty wee nutshell is the fresh new Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Now, I will have this enormous beast on my wrist for the next couple of weeks or so. I will be fully testing it out for my in-depth review, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, be great to hear your own thoughts on the Galaxy Watch 6 and the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic down in the comments below. I've also got unboxings of the Galaxy Z Flip 5, the Galaxy Z Fold 5, all that Samsung-y shenanigans. Frankly, I need to go get more sleep, as the watch is quite clearly telling me. So anyway, yes, please do smash your comments down below. Please do put subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a ruddy, wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.